It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Tannehill to throw on the first play. And his first look is incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Going across the field, he finds Phillips. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 41. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw is on target to Burks. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, this defense for the Browns, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. Trying to power it ahead with Juan. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. They're able to convert with a gain of four. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. Down at the 25. Those are the numbers from Rudolph from last week's game. 16 carries, 68 yards. I can't remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first, but they've lost two straight games, so they still want to do that, but they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Zerline's kick is up and through, and the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they have three first downs and three points. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 27. To throw is Watson. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They go with Chubb on second down. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A check on the numbers for Chubb from a week ago. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, 
getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. On the move to his left. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Five yards remain on second down. They go up the middle with Chubb. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. Now Watson. He'll buy some time right. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he'll be marked down right at the 15 yard line. And Chubb will try the middle here. And they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. Flush to his right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Here's Watson. And he comes back with one complete. Touchdown, Browns! Harrison Bryant. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Browns are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. The extra point by York is up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. And Rudolph has it left side. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. On first down, Tannehill firing quickly here, and that's complete. Will go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. From eight yards out, and the Titans are once again back in front. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead is now 10 to 7. That time, 75 yard drive, five plays. And the result in the end, the Titans touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. The Browns drive about to get started. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. 
And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. The Browns hit 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Now a play fake, and it's Watson sliding out of the pocket. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Second and six. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Knocked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Now, that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Steps away. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Watson on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Again, it's Watson. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And all the way down inside the five to the four. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Felton. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. The lone man in the backfield here is Chubb on second and goal. He'll get it up the middle, and he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Nick Chubb, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year, as his guys have now moved out in front. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. Tennessee offense set to go again. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. This one incomplete and over everybody. Looked like a clear throwaway, but the officials, they're going to say there's a receiver over there in the area, so no flags, and it's third down. 
And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. Taken in at the 11. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. On first down, Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Throwing again on second and 10. Watson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Watson, rolling to his left. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. It certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime of the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. No, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. On second and ten, Tannehill. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Tannehill. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now Tannehill. And he'll just get rid of it. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now this airmail to the sideline. It's incomplete. And there don't appear to be any flags forthcoming. Maybe a little fortunate there. It's third down. Now Tannehill on third and goal. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. A final shot before the break. Watson eluding the pressure right. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Farley. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. So here are the Browns to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. From the gun, here's Watson. He's got his receiver, Cooper. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Now it's Watson, a bootleg, out to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Being chased out left, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. Decided to keep it that time on the option. Got out left, but the defense was right there. And you know what happened on that play, right? Because the defense, as you said, not letting him get upfield. No place for him to ever duck his shoulders and turn upfield and gain yardage. Had to keep moving out laterally. Nice play by the defenders. And Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. Come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Tannehill's throw pulled in by Woods. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Tannehill. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now a handoff as they run left side. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Back to throw, Tannehill. It's complete, Burks. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now Tannehill. Another targeting catch for Robert Woods. And he will have a Titans first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 18. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Tannehill. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. 
Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. On second down, they'll run it here. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Titans have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Tannehill going to throw for it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands, he just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere, seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Watson, off play action. Dumps this to his running back, Chubb. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. Now it's Watson. A short one here, complete to the tight end. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Off of play action, it's Watson on the move to his left. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Deshaun Watson, so multi dimensional, able to scramble for the first. On play action, they'll throw, rolling to his right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 67 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Watson now to throw. They set up the screen to Chubb. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far. But second and 13 here. Watson. It's caught. Cooper. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Touchdown! Amari Cooper, 36 yards. And the Browns answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. So they make the decision they want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. 
And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. The Titans on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and 15. Tannehill now to throw. And this one hauled in by Rudolph. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Taking it about the 16. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Back to throw, Watson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Back to throw. Watson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Looking to throw. Watson. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. That's good for a Cleveland first down at 11-yard pickup. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. A give. This is Chubb. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And again, it's Chubb. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 89 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Handoff comes to Chubb. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now a handoff up the middle. Felton. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run with Chubb. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Nick Chubb, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by York is up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. So now Tannehill and the Titans down by 10. Just under two minutes to go. Throwing Tannehill. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. Now Tannehill. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. 
now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Here's Tannehill, gets it to Burks, and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Tannehill, he finds his man complete. It's Phillips, and they're gonna have another first down as he's gonna be tackled at the Browns 35. Tannehill to throw. This is Phillips yet again. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 32 yards. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, took a touchdown saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. And he wisely will throw that one away. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked, and multiple players broke through the line to get him. So Cleveland 